Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. The prestigious Economist magazine has weighed in on climate once again. Extreme weather events like these are becoming more frequent. Fire seasons growing longer and more intense. As Florence could produce 50% more rain than it otherwise would have wow. in a non-climate change uh, environment. I don't know how to describe this other than we're in the middle of a climate emergency right now. It's not just causing untold human suffering but also ever-growing economic costs. As the losses pile up, will insurers be able to cope with the damage? In 2017, Hurricane Harvey, mudslides in Sierra Leone, and monsoon floods in South Asia all contributed to the largest year on record for insurance losses, with payouts totaling $144 billion. So let's take a look at their inflation-adjusted graph. According to The Economist, there were almost no weather disasters during the 1970s. But on Christmas Day 1974, Darwin, Australia was destroyed by Cyclone Tracy. Earlier that year, Brisbane, Australia had some of their worst flooding on record when they received 32 inches of rain in January. In April of 1974, the United States had its largest tornado outbreak on record with 148 twisters in 24 hours. Australia had their worst bushfire season on record in 1974 when 15% of the country burned. There was a terrible drought in Africa that year which was starving 6 million people. The National Academy of Sciences blamed the drought on global cooling and wanted to evacuate the people from the drought region. The United Nations Secretary General Kurt Waldheim said, if sufficient action isn't taken in the next few months, countries could disappear from the face of the earth. The five-year-old drought, the worst in living memory, has hit the whole region in West Africa south of the Sahara. Last year, the drought spread to Ethiopia, claiming 100,000 lives. July 15, 1974. Droughts, floods, blizzards, tornadoes, typhoons, and hurricanes have plagued much of the nation and the world in recent years. And the bad weather which was occurring was blamed on global cooling. Time magazine predicted another ice age. In Africa, drought continues for the sixth consecutive year, adding terribly to the toll of famine victims. During 1972, record rains in parts of the U.S., Pakistan, and Japan caused some of the worst flooding in centuries. As they review the bizarre and unpredictable weather pattern of the past several years, a growing number of scientists are beginning to suspect that many seemingly contradictory meteorological fluctuations are actually part of a global climatic upheaval. Telltale signs are everywhere, from the unexpected persistence and thickness of pack ice in the waters around Iceland, to the southward migration of a warmth-loving creature like the armadillo from the Midwest. Since the 1940s, the mean global temperature has dropped about 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Also in 1972 was Hurricane Agnes, which was described as the costliest hurricane to hit the United States at the time, causing an estimated $2.1 billion in damage in 1972 dollars. There's been a lot of inflation over the past 50 years, but The Economist shows that there was almost no damage from weather in 1972. This graph from The Economist is simply not credible. The deadliest cyclone on record occurred in 1970 in Bangladesh and killed half a million people. Apparently, for The Economist, half a million lives carries no value. Climatologists were pessimistic that political leaders would do anything to stop the global cooling of the 1970s. So they wanted to take matters into their own hands and save the Earth by melting the Arctic ice cap by covering it with black soot. The 1970s were full of horrific weather disasters which took a massive toll on human life. Yet somehow The Economist has determined that there was almost no bad weather during the 1970s. These people aren't economists, they aren't journalists, they're propagandists pushing an agenda. Nothing that they're claiming has anything to do with reality. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this fraud for the past 13 years. You can visit him, Kyrie, and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com.